All right, guys, I'm going to show you guys a real basic hog breakdown, how I get it from a skinned out animal that's been sitting in the cooler for three days to get it inside the house. Now, I already started a little bit, but we had a little bit of camera malfunction. All I'm using is my super tiny, this is a Schrade Imperial. We've got these on our website, and well, mainly because it comes with this. I do the cool part right here, so it's just a, a little uh, pancake holster. So I ended up uh, doing both of these hogs the other night with this little knife. Um, it works. I definitely like it. So I'm just taking the straps out right now first. This is the head end, right? Yeah, well, where the head should have been, but mom sort of, she totally went straight up Creedmoor on it and blew its head clean off. <laughs> <laughs> A Creedmoor is so powerful, like you just aim for the head and it just skins itself. Yeah. Oh, it, not even just that. She also got two pigs with one bullet. Look at the fat. Holy cow. So we're going to strap it and then we're going to leg it. And I'm going to show you guys how I do the, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the ribs. Hey, Nan, do you want to grab that pan that was inside? Because yes. the cats were on this I'm one. I'm going to take this leg out of the way. Yeah, I can't believe the cream That's worms. where she got it. Right there. She shot it right just, in the neck. Yeah. yeah. So there's no muscle. Oh, well, there's no bone holding the front legs on, which is kind of neat about it. Take that back up. So I like being able to mm -hmm. stick it in the ice like that. Ooh, right here. Neck straps, everything on there. It's going to be a bit of a long video because I'm not fast. Never been fast. You don't need to be fast. Yeah, this silly little knife. I, I tell you what, I like it. It's uh, I skinned two pigs with it the other day without sharpening, no nothing, and I still haven't thank sharpened you. it, and now I'm doing this. Uh, thank you. See, I leave the neck strap on. Allison mm -hmm. takes it all off later. All right. You know what I find? I'm using the, the skinning one more. The one without the point? Yeah. It's probably nice because then you're not poking into the meat. Well, I'm not poking myself either. Because mm -hmm. I always end up poking myself with those sharp fillet knives that you got me. Yeah. My hands are so cold. I'm like trying to go a little bit quicker because they're <laughs> freezing. So, oh, cooler wise. <clears throat> so we always use this big giant cooler, but we've got the, the Grizzly. But the Grizzly Cooler is outrageously expensive. Like, outrageous. Oh, here, let me show them this first before I get yapping. So where do, how do you know where to stop with the back strap? You can't see it very well, but there's a bone right here. It's like the, honey, hip bone or? Pelvis? I don't know. Pelvis. It's a bone. But you're going to ride your knife right along that. Got too close to it. Come on, Mark. It's right there. And that's how you know where to stop with your, your back strap. So this is the butt strap. There's the neck strap, and then there's the butt strap. See? And that's one. That was, is this the smaller pig? Yes, that was yes. the first this one is, that you guys... This is the first one, first pig. which yeah, is the smaller, the smaller pig. pig. So, I might as well tell the story. No, well, no. Yeah. <laughs> Creedmoor. I'm just going to say, it was Creedmoor. <laughs> I hear it about the Creedmoor. Creedmoor got a bear you didn't get. Creedmoor got two pigs for one shot. Whatever. Yeah. All right, so. All right, tell them about the cooler. Oh, the cooler. Oh, yeah. We were down in Arcadia, and uh, we didn't have. What happens is every year we go down for doe days, and we kill so many more deer than we plan on. So we have to buy another cooler every year just to fit all <laughs> of our deer in. Well, Walmart had these giant. What is this? Coleman. Two, right here. Uh, Coleman. It's Coleman. 124 pork. That's what it is. One, so, yeah. no. Yeah. That's what it says. That's 124 can. Oh. 150 quart Coleman chest cooler. The 316 series. It's 100 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> and it fit. This thing just had two pigs in it. $100 for a cooler. They seriously measure it in beer cans? Yes, they do. <laughs> Mom, we well, I don't stuff. think specifically beer cans. I think it just says cans. Mm. So it could be soda cans. No, it's not soda cans. It's not soda cans. It's measured in natty... 116 cans of soda, no. It's measured in natty ice. <laughs> it's measured in natty ice? Yeah. How many cans 
And that uh, ice can you fit in there? So this is the the slow shoot, it's probably part. Measured in white claw nowadays. White claw. <laughs> Allison drinks White Claw. I do not drink yes, White does. Claw. Nope. She listens to rave music, like techno music, and drinks White Claw. Yeah. I believe that was Tusk this morning. That's yeah. Lillian. That's Lillian. And it, that's at least Fleetwood Mac. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I like this. So how the oh, hell like did it. we come up with this I know, me again? too. What, honey? You found a charade. We found the original one when the, the, we first yeah. moved out here. I found it. And I never had one. Like, because everybody's always got, you know, one of those inexpensive pocket knives. But the charade, Allison found one when we were Literally out. was out walking, and I yeah. looked down and saw something shiny and pulled it out of the dirt. Come on, Mark. Why am I struggling so hard to get on the correct side of that bone today? You're there on the go. film. Is that, well, my freaking yeah. hands are freezing. You're, you're rushing. I'm rushing. I'm not rushing. Time for those good pieces of meat. Huh? Don't leave those good pieces of meat behind. <laughs> Come on, mighty bear hunter. You, know I, I, you know what you want to do, Mom? Why don't you get your creed more out? We'll just shoot it again. I heard if you shoot it when it's no, dead, it, it packages cats. itself. Bobcats, you have to shoot four times to lay them down. <laughs> that wasn't me, so we could talk. That, that wasn't a creed more either. <laughs> it was the equivalent. It was a 243. <laughs> and then a. 30? 300? 300? It was a 300. So it was shot with a 243, <laughs> then a 300 Savage, and then an hour and a half later <laughs> tracking it, this thing was still alive and hissing, and then it was shot with a 243 again. To offer up the Creedmoor. <laughs> Mom, you, that's what a Creedmoor does. Look at this mess. I, I annihilated it. I did. Sorry. Yeah, honey. It's like the multitask film of the century. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad! I need a hint on Zelda. Look at a bone everywhere. It's like, yeah. That's fine. We'll clean right. it out. So, look, all right, so I probably could have fast forwarded for the backstrap part because everybody knows it. Look at that marbling in that. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows this part. It's uh, the legging. All right, here we go. Well, not everybody knows this part, not everybody does this. That's right. Most people bring their stuff to processors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of people do. Yeah, can't I can't it. do a product. Well, you can't afford it. Two dollars a pound. You shoot of... a Creed more. You, this is mom. When she's she takes out a Creed more, she's like this. Yeah. One shot for the pigs. Two pigs. One shot for the bear. It's funny using this little knife. It's actually cutting well. It does. There you go. There's a nice strap. Okay, so now okay. that's the boring part. There's a bone fragment. Let me on take there. these in. Sure. So the front legs are off. We're gonna go to the back legs now. This is so we don't use a saw. We don't use a saw on anything. So I'm just gonna cut the belly flap. Belly flap. Just okay. following that thigh. Yeah. And then Well, this is awkward. <laughs> 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 so, I just followed it right along, what would you say, the thigh or whatever? What are you laughing at? Like, ah. I'm getting very personal ah. with that. <laughs> like, I would like to tell you a story. <laughs> <laughs> We're deleting this, aren't we? We're totally deleting this. Ow! Oh. This is cool. ah, You have to scream whenever you cut down the... So, you're cutting straight down the pelvic bone, screaming, okay? <laughs> I see there's like a little bone right here. And there's a little bone right here. So we're on both sides of it. All right, and then now, kind of hold her up. It's, well, it's difficult because- Usually you have me hold it. Hey, Lillian, come here for a minute. You can wash your hands. Why don't you grab this leg for me and pull it for me? No. Yeah. Mom. She's, she's multitasking. But look, like you hold it open like, Lillian, come on, help for a minute, please. Oh. You were holding a snake all day yesterday and you won't touch a... Don't touch my pork. You don't touch a pork right. leg? Here comes the intermission. <laughs> do, 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 do. You want to catch your breath? No, I'm okay. <laughs> Just grab the leg for me. I want to show everybody how, you, how we split. So what happens is, is when you ride along the pelvic bone and you kind of give it a tug, you see it already released without being able to see... See the knuckle right there? 
and we're cutting on the side of that then cut around it and I call it I don't know it's like a little bone right here that you got to go on the other side of it Table? and cut down I don't know mm -hmm. I should just probably the, know what I should call just these how things. the pelvis flares out See, that's I bone out. See, most people would have sat there with a meat cleaver and beat the hell out Sawzall. of it. Or, or <laughs> you guys, please nope. tell me you did not I've use never. a sawzall on no. the bear. He's wanted to, but no. Yeah. Looks great. Save that hiney meat. The hiney meat? The hiney meat. The butt cheeks. Yes. The hammers. Okay. Mom, lift that up. And then look, I can finish off just right across the back of this. And that's that weird bone that you kind of ride. Come on, Mark. You want to uproot? Nope. And that's it. Oh, that piece right there. It's. You're killing me, woman. So there's I'll get hand. it later, don't worry. Well, that's the thing. She goes through it afterwards. Yeah. So, like, so I left this little strip right here. A kebab. All right, so, Mom, what do you want? just kind of give that a tug again. No, nope. yeah. open, yep. Yeah. See, everything is done with just a nice little... With skill and finesse. Well, as long as I can find the bone properly. And then it's across that, right? And then down again. But yeah, you don't need a saw or a sawzall or a Creedmoor. There's going to be so many... It, the Statue of Limitations is up. Mom's killed her pig. This way. The Statue of Limitations is up so I could talk smack about the Creed more again. Still got a bear, you didn't. That's it. Okay. Yeah. okay. So there's that. Now, we're going to show the ribs. Even Mom, even Mom didn't know how to do this. Mom? Mm -hmm. Hold that open. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you missed it earlier when we opened the legs up. So look, honey, I don't know if you want to come over my shoulder right here. Uh, sure. To show people. So I'll trim right along the belly flap. That last rib? Yeah, the last rib. That's so beautiful. And last rib. Okay, then I take this and I'm going to score right along the ribs. Like I said, most people are always trying to use a a saw for everything, but you don't need a saw. Can you do me a favor? Okay. Can you make sure this cuts? Now watch this. See that? All right. Beautiful. Yeah. Or if you were guys who were just going to put them right on the, the whole pig on the grill. You would still open it I up would anyway. still spatchcock it and lay it. Oh, see, that worked there out really you good. Go. That's, Look at that. that's how it should have gone the last okay. one. All right, then, You're basically popping the ribs out of that joint. Yep. The socket actually let go. The socket where it connects. Yep. Nice. But you do not need a saw. If you get a saw in there, then you end up with bone fragments yeah. and stuff that you got to clean out. And what's that? Up? Up. And you don't need a giant knife. That's, it's, this is it. A lot of people think that you need, like, remember when we used to do it years ago, we used to, we used to click them. Remember? Yeah, we would click them with a, with we would just like take, a cleaver. But we'd end up. Mm -hmm. But still, you're still breaking stuff. bones and you're leaving sharp edges that are then going to poke through your, your vacuum sealer bags. Yes. These are not sharp edges. They don't poke through. Knife and sheath available at omnivoresquivers.com. Dot com. <laughs> I feel like Matt. Matt's like, you can get that on Eden's Arrowworks. Can't com. get these at Eden's Arrowworks. So this is the shop part up here. So Yeah, so I'll trim all that off and stuff whenever I when I take those in there to clean them off. But that's a, how's that for a breakdown? So that's a very still, good breakdown. You have the belly flap on there. Take that pelvis bone. There's break that pelvis ribs. bone for me so what? that way I can take that pelvis in and clean it up a little bit more. What do you mean? How you did the last one, you broke the pelvis in half. I didn't break the pelvis, did you? Yeah, oh, yeah. I just fold it. Yeah. Oh. Well, do it for me again. Well, I thought I did. You did it like right there. Yeah. So that's yeah. Not... Okay. Right in front of those, yeah. what are they, lumbar? <laughs> <laughs> I went straight up Creedmoor on You're that. You're so manly. <laughs> Creedmoor. <laughs>
yeah, that way I just, I take the pelvis in and I clean up any of the little chunks. And also I get the tenderloins out of there. Oh, you want a little we, back on that one because you cut the tenderloins. You're not, honey, we don't eat the inner loins. Did you okay. call the inner loins in this? Yeah, on the last one. I they told were mom like four times. Not, so I don't want you to pull the inner loins. And the reason being is this. Let me show you on this again. You can't see it in here. But whenever I've done any butchering on these pigs, when I feel, when I got them, Right along here is where the worms sit. Hmm. And I've seen it. So she saved those inner loins. Okay. She said they were clean, but like I... I, I cleaned up any fat them. or anything like that that was all in around them. Yeah. I, it was just me. I don't so. need to do those ones, but... But that's a broken down We can fish them out if you're with concerned. With a teeny tiny knife. Freezing so cold hands and two rushing. ribs there. We've got the two front legs, two back legs, and we've already got the loins inside. I'm going to give Sean one. And of we've got there. the spine right there that we're not going to do anything with. I like it, but that's Some. I built myself one. How long have I been carrying that? Mm, a few months, I believe. Yeah, I just, I want it because I like to have, I like yeah. having a pocket knife. What do they say? Kevin says, like, you're not a real man unless you have a pocket knife. True traditional men have a pocket knife at all times. Instead, I'm the guy like, y'all got something to cut this with? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, do, do you see, so... I had to stab a pig with an arrow the other day because the knife is still a little bit too short to hit the heart, as we've pointed out. So that's why the other day I went boop and just boop. Stab it with an arrow. Yeah, I built it a month, two months ago. I don't go anywhere with that. And the cool thing is I still wear my quiver. So even with this thing inside here, I'm not going to get it too mushy in there. But <laughs> <laughs> even with my quiver on, I still wear it. All right. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Well, say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Let's, this, just, Let's go cut some meat. Goodbye. What do you want? A front?